This is my parents' dog, Theo. He is a 110-pound golden retriever. I walk him because my mom can't keep him from running after trucks. I'm afraid if he gets away, he might kill something. Or someone. Over here, Thea. A 110-pound golden retriever in a 2001 Toyota Corolla. As you can see, he's basically on my lap. I don't normally take Theo different places to go on a walk. It's easier just to walk him where he's familiar with. But I think maybe you take him somewhere else and he gets out of his comfort zone. And then maybe he'll learn to be a better, better walker. This could go great. It could go absolutely horribly. So I guess you'll see. I always give Theo these treats, the regular milk bone treats. I crush them up into tiny pieces. I used to crush them up into quarter-sized treats, but then the serving size of those treats is about two, so you get about eight treats for your walk if you're going with the serving size. So I crush it up into tiny, tiny pieces, and he doesn't care. He likes it. So what free pet stuff is here? A stick. <laughs> Not much. So Theo really doesn't like loud noises. So that's why I brought him here, because I want him to know that it's okay. And there's nothing to be afraid of. It's also really helping him to have him doing, be doing a vlog today because it just breaks up the walk and he has to stop every time. Speaking of vlogs, this is not a dog training channel, but it is a narrative home movie vlog storytelling channel. So if that's what you like, you know what to do. But seriously, it helps me to know that what I'm doing is valuable to you and it helps YouTube to know that they should push it out to more people. I Thanks. think that helps them to just be like, Okay, you're in control, not me. The thing about Theo is that he is always better on the way back. And I think that he's a lot more obedient after he's had a walk. So since that is the case, I thought I would try to bring him to a public store and see if he's a good boy. <laughs> if it goes bad, I'm just gonna immediately leave. So this right here on my wrist is pepper spray. I always bring it with me on walks with Theo because he's so strong that if he gets in a fight with another dog, I guess what you do is you spray him with pepper spray. It's never happened yet. Hey, what? what's up? I don't have cash, I'm sorry. It's true, I don't carry cash. Yesterday, I was trying to get myself something to eat and I was at Chipotle and they were like, go ahead and insert the car chip in the card reader and I did that and it didn't work. People are standing in line and it's not working like 20 times. You take Apple Pay and they were like, yeah, we take Apple Pay. I was like, oh, great. It worked perfectly and I was like, oh, thank the Lord. But I only had $21 on my account and the purchase was $23. She made me sit there and set up my Apple Pay for like. I brought my parents' dog. Oh my goodness! Dogs are inconvenient. It's a lot of work to train them. And even the good boys do bad things sometimes. Is it worth it? 100%. All I'm saying is, owning a dog is a two-way street. You gotta give a whole lot. But what you give to these beasts, you get back tenfold in love and companionship. <laughs>